Nice to meet you, Mr. Martinez. My pleasure, Wendy. So, how are you doing, man? So, um, for like maybe the 50th time today, <laughs> uh, could you describe the character you play in, in Seed of Chucky? Sure. Or Curse of Chucky, excuse yeah, me. Yeah, 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 you know. Sorry, if, I, if, if I was already. in that movie, I missed the whole thing. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, uh, I, I play Father Frank. He's the parish mm -hmm. priest, and he uh, he basically comes uh, into, the, into the narrative because Barb mm -hmm. wants his assistance in talking her sister Nika into selling the house so they can divide up the money so Barb can take care of her financial problems. Okay. And uh, Father Frank probably knows that you can make a, make a case for selling the house is good for Nika too, but he, mm -hmm. in his heart of hearts, knows that basically it's about taking care of Barb when Barb asks for this to happen. And Father Frank goes along with it, maybe against his better judgment. And, uh -huh. I think, and, and therein lies the rub and probably mm -hmm. why Father Frank has to pay a certain price. Uh, a complex yeah, character. There you go. Nice. There you go. Uh, last night I, I got to visit the set mm. and I, I got to see a scene that you were in, mm. uh, a rather gruesome scene that yeah. you were in. It was really fantastic. Mm. And uh, I got to see a severed head, your severed head, strangely, that the special effects guys had made. And it's an amazing head. Yeah. I mean, what were your thoughts when you first saw that head? Because that would have freaked me the hell out. Yeah, I was amazed. I mean, uh, uh, I mean, I know these guys are good because I went to their studio in LA to actually get my head cast so they mm. could make an, an extra head of me. And so you, you're in the thing and you see all these heads and they're on poles and stuff. There's <laughs> magical stuff going on there. There's, there's that mm. dog and uh, something about Mary that, that oh, yeah. Ben Stiller abused and had to get all banned as he threw out the window. That dog has got, it's like got a, a shrine to that dog. He's right there at <laughs> the dog. You just go, oh, this is like, this is a real showbiz uh, mm -hmm. place. So yeah, I dug it. And, um, and uh, what was amazing about actually w meeting my head was that, because I got to hold my head in my hands, is that it's, uh, it's it feels, um, heavy, mm. as if I had a really thick brain. <laughs> <laughs> so they might have. It, it, it was uh, it was really fun, and playing mm. the scene was uh, a blast. How familiar are you with the Chucky franchise? Like are they all the previous movies, did uh, you, had you seen them all before, or did you I've seen, bone uh, up beforehand? I've seen like 150 clips from various and sundry. I think I saw most of Child's Play, the original one, and I okay. uh, saw uh, Bride. Okay. Yeah. Well, you saw the best ones. Yeah. Though. Well. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, Jennifer Tilly. The thing about Chucky to me is uh, is you got uh, Brad Dourif. Um, yeah. You know, yeah. to me that's like uh, the uh, the central draw, obviously. Yeah, and you have scenes with Chucky, yeah. Uh, yeah. My 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 character is um, sort of sort of delightfully ignorant of the um, import of Chucky. He he okay. kind of looks at him and goes something about that doll. That's sort of his level of clarity. Very nice. He has a lot to pay for my character. Do you get to hear Brad Dourif on the set when you're, yeah, you're yeah. acting with Chucky? Or? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I'm not going to, but, uh, oh, okay. but you know, luckier people than me get to. Nice. <laughs> so I, I've been looking over you know, your rather long and varied career. Mm -hmm. I've seen that you've done a lot of TV. Yeah. Um, how is like, acting for TV different than acting for a feature film like Curse of Chucky? Well, the first thing, uh, well, the first thing is you can say um, every word that you could imagine when you're in the the, the film Curse of Chucky, and the, and the second thing is that you, you, you a word you can imagine like cursing. Yeah, cursing oh, like okay. bad words. <laughs> but the thing is too, like television, basically, especially television, that, you know, that that is the way we think of it from historically, is it has all these commercial breaks, so you have to fit all this storytelling in these little slots of time. Yeah, and it, it puts a certain kind of constraint on how much time you can take, perhaps, with certain moments that left to your own devices or the freedom of a movie, you would probably decide, I want to milk this, I want to do something with this, I want to turn this into something that goes sideways before it comes back to the original point. Mm -hmm. And you know, you have the chance at least to explore those kind of things in film that you normally don't have in television. So that's yeah, a yeah. big draw. Excellent. Yeah. And uh, I, I also noticed that you did a, a whole lot of westerns, at least early on in your career, like in the yeah, 70s. Yeah. Um, was there something you liked about westerns, or was that just the work that, that was available? Well, the first thing was that I got a chance to be in this movie, The Cowboys, with John Wayne, mm -hmm. and my good fortune among the multitudes of good fortune, that so much good fortune has come to this person, right? The, I, I got cast even though they tried to cast someone else, and that person didn't work out. They tried to cast someone else, and that person didn't work out. And they finally turned to me and went, well, I guess it's going to be you. So I got that part sort of by default. 
and it really gave me a chance to have a career. And, and among the great things about it is it's John Wayne, and it's the great director, Mark Rydell, it's Bruce Dern, who's one of the... Oh, yeah. It's a good actor, that guy. So, and, and, and of course, because of that movie and a big budget, they had a lot of time to teach all of us how to ride horses like real cowboys. You know, we spent weeks working with the great trainer, Red Burns, Very who nice. had taught who had taught Gary Cooper and his, his peers back in the day. So we got to learn. And once you have a skill set on the horse and you, know, you can act, you have a chance to mm -hmm. get other jobs just based on the fact that you can ride that horse like you actually know what you're doing. So it, it opened up a little vein of potential work for me and for all of us who did that film uh, that otherwise would not have been there. So it was just good fortune. Excellent. I have one more question yeah. I can ask you, and this is one I just sort of like to ask everybody. What was the first record you bought with your own money? Um, I believe it was Please Please Me, uh, the Beatles. Yeah. I was in a band, I was in a surf band <laughs> called the Makahas, which is a trip because you know I was like basically a brown-skinned person fronting a, a surf band. That was kind of our hook. Mm -hmm. And um, and then you know we're we're sailing along playing all these these tunes and then the Beatles show up, so we uh, we decided we better learn some Beatles songs and you know that song that song that was an that was an ass kicking song and uh, <laughs> and so we all you know we wanted that that thing and I I believe I was the person that got designated to buy that record. <laughs> you, they selected somebody to buy the record. Yeah, yeah. Can can I find a Macaha's record anywhere? Uh, you know, there's uh, God. There's an image of our of one of our records on a website somewhere that I just saw like about a year ago that blew my mind. Somebody's got it. Uh, <laughs> it was a song called. Um, we did we did we did a song called "Shake a Tail Feather" and a song called yeah. "I'll Be Leaving You." And there was like flip sides of this. It was like a 45, and you can still kind of see it there. But I have no idea where you'd find the record. Uh, but, you know, a picture of a record is kind of worthless, actually. <laughs> <laughs> if I find it, I'll let you know. I'd appreciate that. Anyway, um, I think that's all I have time for. Great, so, man. Yeah, thanks for talking yeah, to me. Yeah, nice talking to you. That. Real pleasure, Whitney.